True propositions exist. If atheism is true, it follows that atheism is false. Proposing that atheism is not a proposition, so it cannot be either true nor false, is a category error. This discussion will treat atheism as the proposition that God does not exist. In a more general sense, the vast majority of those who claim to be atheists would also claim that the proposition nothing supernatural exists is true. To make either proposition is to assume that true propositions exist. They must exist as they are necessary to assert that they do exist or, self-refuting, that they do not exist. Certain propositions must be true, as our lives, thought patterns and interactions are all based upon them. Without them, reality would be absurd. Likewise, logical laws such as both X and not X cannot be true at the same time and in the same way, the law of non-contradiction, also exist. To claim that the law of non-contradiction is invalid would be relying upon it being valid. If a person was brought to trial for murder based upon DNA samples from the scene matching those from the suspect, and their attorney claimed that their DNA continues to change so on the day was not identical to the samples, and the Jew was comprised of relativists, they would agree that one's DNA can change. True propositions aren't contingent upon mankind. The proposition there are no human beings was true before mankind existed. That I am presently writing this is a true proposition despite nobody making such a proposition. The scientific method would fail in the absence of true propositions, so Roger Bacon could not have dealt with some of the oversights of Aristotle and Peers, then established the principles that have brought us the technology that allows the Joe Average of today to live like a king of his times. Logical laws existed before mankind. The earth is spherical and the earth is cubical could not both be simultaneously true before mankind existed. We are not the measure of all things. Propositions occupy no volume, have no mass, possess no energy, and are not limited to certain times. If the universe did not exist, the proposition there is no universe would be true. To claim of a table or chair or barrel, it just exists, that there is no explanation for its existence, would be no less ludicrous than claiming there is no explanation for the existence of any proposition. It is not reasonable to dismiss the logical principle of sufficient reason as you might do a taxi driver who has brought you to your destination. If true propositions are merely a brute fact, why would the pond scum from which we supposedly evolved be in touch with true propositions? How would that have assisted their survival? True propositions must draw their nature from, or be a part of, an entity which is timeless, is not physical, occupies no space, and is metaphysically necessary. As time, space, and physical entities self-evidently exist, this entity must have the intention and ability to make this all happen. Yes, it is personal. If your own enduring self-awareness is a physical-only entity, you would not have been able to comprehend the preceding syllogism at all. So you are demonstrating that reality includes entities that are not solely physical. If God did not exist, would the proposition God does not exist be true? If God did not exist, the proposition itself would not exist, so it could not be true.
Ergo, it is necessary that God exists for you to be able to claim that he doesn't exist, or for you to make any other claim.